Cool. Now I am what? What is my mood? I am slightly depressed because that's my... Yeah, that's my closest mood, I guess. So that puts me at minus shit. I need to do my public speak. I am so minus on public speaking. I need to boost that, though. And we're going to do it twice because I need it. I need it. It needs to be done for the world. Conversation. Public speaking. Do it. Too depressed to focus on the show. Blah, 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 blah. Too depressed to focus. Damn it. That did nothing. This is the procession. We'll lead the parade. If you have any concerns about the safety, please save here. People recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. I will lead the parade. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. Prepare your gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that is taller than you are. By the end, while wow, decoration and uh, elegance is spelled, at the end of the route, you help a priestess turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. Then a new type of life. Then the new life is blessed, and all attendants join in song. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Okay. All right. Currently angry. I don't want to stay in the middle. So I want to go plus afraid and plus cheerful, or minus angry and cheerful. So there's no way I can really do that. But I think I might want to get rid of the depression first. So I want to do cheerful, willful if I can. Cheerful and willful. Shit. Whatever. <laughs> What is that face? I am so yielding right now. Hey, at least I'm plus freaking to royal demeanor. Not bad. Let's freaking get up some conversation and shit. Like, I need to do some stuff. All right, so I want to do court manners. No, flattery and public speaking. Because I feel like I'm going to be flattered in a minute. Let's do it up. Practice your tongue twisting sentences of syllables to improve your enunciation. You learn that it is important to make eye contact when saying nice things to someone, about someone, <laughs> whatever. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. <laughs> you finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. Oh shit, it's, it's snowing. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Presence fail, elegance fail, composure fail, decoration fail. Damn, seeing yourself reflected in so many eyes makes you want to run away and hide. Plus one afraid, plus one pressure. After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look of his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. Your eye, I was gonna say gaze. The Duke of Kiggle alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. Look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want and you will not be denied. Okay. Someone about your age. You press willingly the second son of the Duke of Kiggle. He is about two years older than you. He's always nice to you at school. He bows to you great with great courtesy and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him. You knew his steps like a part of you. Now every every move is a mystery. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't practice this. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do when you trip over your own feet. Whoops. Between the dances, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and say and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. This is terrible. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting a clear note ring throughout the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As the gallop continues, you take the opportunity to observe the nobles you rarely see. There's Gwinnell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you, and due to finally inherit control of her duchy, duchy soon, duchy, duchy, I don't know, or Adele, great singer, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lilla, and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school, 
of the, in the absolute terror of the valley fields. No Bryony. She said her parents were leaving her stuck in school this season. Her parents are here dancing together. The Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here. Of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come. Mervis, Merva being so close by. Since magic failed. It's nice to enjoy friends and family, isn't it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm screwing up. Go to the treasury. I haven't been there in a minute. Accounting presence failed. Okay, so I need to be up there. And my... Oh, fuck. I just minus myself again. I just minus myself again. Okay. Let's us work on our history. Yeah. Work on our history. Novan history. And our shit. I don't know. I don't know. I am pretty damn angry. And uh, just might as well do accounting again. My, ah, it's too production. Screw accounting. <laughs> you read about you read about you read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the center of a great empire spanning the length of the western coast, as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence was wine, waned. I, was, I thought I said wanted. You learned that the Sunset Bay, off the coast of Duchy, is it Duchy Duchy? Mazomba is a prime location for fishing. Oh, nice, nice, nice. You went downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the, 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 the domain. You move with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You're too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor, minor titles, no husband and your father's arm in her grasp. Oh, I think that's it, titties. How dare she make a move on your father? Silent scorn. You meet her eyes and imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. She notices your stare but only smiles at you ever so sweetly. Darling Elodie, I hope you've been well. Fine. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. She gives a little wave and exits. Once she's gone, you raise your eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You'll need gold. You'll need the goodwill of nobles as well as your commoners. There have been any have there haven't been any problems so far. As a queen, you must be aware of everything you know. Or blah blah blah. Test the trick, success, nice. Isn't that what I have agents for? Yes, but you must con give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Hmm. Noble I just know what other nobles are up to and whether anything is plotting anything about blah, 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 blah. I can't read today. Alright, let's get rid of this freaking anger. Anger issues here. Visit her. You have not your rest. Reach the sick. Yeah, 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 are you, yeah, I can't read. It would probably be Jurassic Ashen, as she mentioned earlier. Leave it to me. Don't worry, I'm working on it. Very well. Still pissed off here. Still pretty pissed off. Uh, go back to uh, presence and composure, or is it elegance? Was it elegance or is it presence? I think it was elegance. Cause I'm like accounting is pretty high up there, but I still failed it. Hmm. I mean, because that shit's like annoying. Practice is royal, wearing your royal regalia, looking at yourself in the mirror. You're young as you are. You're clinging with the blood. You are your mother's daughter, and you are forced to be reckoned with. You study money lending and the controversies involved in charging interest. According to the Druids, one should always return more than one is loaned, or else the debt gave no value in the world or to the world. So I'm like in 30s on that. I'm plus 30 for that. It's time for the year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive already is, spoke, is already spoken for, but there is always room for discretion. What? Accounting failed? I'm so high up into accounting. 
Lower the taxes. I think we have enough money. Let's lower the taxes a little. As you wish. Because I'm a nice person. All right. Let's, uh, again, freaking, freaking afraid. I need to be afraid. And, yeah. Just, let's, uh, lonely. How's lonely? Uh, sure. No. Dude, mine's angry. Now my freaking mood is what? No, I'm still angry. Cool. Um, well, not really cool, but cool. Uh, I should work on my physical, but I kind of want to work on my other freaking royal demeanor, but I have to wait. So I think I'll just work on my military really quickly. I guess. Yeah, military. I'm just going to work on my logistics. And I will work on my archery. Do that. Archery and my military logistics. Because, yeah. You study the kinds of equipment that soldiers need to need available, such as bedding, ar weapons, armors, medicines, bandages, and the tools repair, to repair anything damaged. You study different kinds of transport, animals, wagons, sledges, ships, boats, and boots. You learn how to twist and wax both strings from a variety of fibers. You requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. What? He does not deny the, the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I am going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again. Demons make it a... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're dead. I don't care whether there were demons or not. You're still a murderer. Your life is forfeit. You'll be hanged in the public, determining your future. Blah, blah, blah. His mouth opens to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. Yeah, yeah, I killed a man. Sweet. Mama, just killed a man. Oh, I can be neutral. I can be neutral. I am, like, legit happy. I am so neutral. I am, like, the most neutral of, of all time right now. Let's boost that freaking composure and that freaking uh, court manners, because I need that. Boost that, that composure and that uh, court manners, because I need that. It sucks that you have to do two classes a day, though. You review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and extend your hand to another. All nobles accept, expect their due honors. You practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and maintain a sense of inner calm. Yeah. You receive word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where the man you judged was sentenced to be executed. As he was led to the platform, he suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors of the secret cabal of evil loons who sacrifice innocents in their dark rituals. Yeah, I'm gonna need my, uh, shit. I wanna be cheerful, though, so let's go cheerful and willful, if I can. Nope. Uh, nope. None of these give me cheerful and willful. I don't want to be lonely, though. Screw it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Look at that. I'm happy as shit right now. Conversation and athletics. Let's go. Let's hook it up with that, uh... Public speaking and uh, manners. Nope. Public speaking and, and swimming or climbing. Let's do swimming. Public speaking and athletics swimming. Aha! You get comfortable in the water, splashing around, holding your breath until you to go underwater. Sweet. You take deep breaths and practice speaking loudly and clearly, projecting your voice to every corner of the room. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke of Regent has, of Elith, Duke Regent of Elith has passed away. This really isn't a surprise. He was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. With the control of the Elith in doubt, it falls to the crown to make the decisions. Young Lord Adair will not, well, yeah, will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Aris, the Duchess of Lila, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. 
This would, however, leave her in personal control of the two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Almost the entire eastern border. I don't know anything really bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, or you might appoint him an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility. You and Adar are both young, not too far apart in age. He regrets that we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. Hmm. 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 I'm going. I'm between marry and leave him. Marry him. Okay, I'll marry him. At least that's what I. At least that way I won't go stuck with an old man. You can't actually marry him, so he's old enough. But he will be right here to live as your companion. Sweet. Careful. Um. Let's do some more willful shit. Do some mad willful shit though. Mm. Oh, I'm sad now. Why am I sad? I'm lonely. Lonely as damn it. Well, I can boost my conversation though. That's cool. Um, conversation and medicine. Sweet. So let's boost um. Flattery. I really. I think I should do. Freak. Let's do flattery and um. Battlefield. So it's medicines, battlefield, medicines, and royal demeanor. Flat conversation flattery. Learn to keep that flattering com comments have been have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that wounds, even minor ones, should be washed as soon as possible to prevent dirt from growing under the skin. Ew. There's a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes the crown patronage, which means money. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in in word and song. I've dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Hey, hey, damn it. Musicians are often secret, use as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Very well, you can remain as part of the court. I will do my best for you. Sweet home Alabama. Uh, all right, let's be pressured a bit. Because I don't like this lonely feel. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I guess this is the only one. I'm, am I neutral again? I'm yielding. Okay. Sweet. Look at that. Let us boost our history in the world. And our elegance. So, uh, Royal Demeanor, Elegance, and our history of the world. You read about the Neros, the Western continent, Giovar, where civilizations flourished so long ago that the ancestral Novans were still living in caves. No one knows what became of them. The population vanished without a trace, leaving only their enormous stone buildings. You practice standing and walking with books balanced on your head. All right, that was interesting. How is Adair, Adair settling to life at the castle? I found him in the garden trying to catch frogs. Oh, yes, look at that. Test fast. So I showed him a few tricks. Oh, that's not what I want. I don't know. I could just right click and save. Look at that. Let's save this game. Cause, um, Talks. Yes, save. All right. So I showed him a few tricks. I'm sure you'll work things out. Uh, I think I need to be a little bit more cheerful and a little bit more... I think gilding actually helps me out. So I want to go cheerful and minus lonely though. There is like no my Ew. There's like no minus cheerful and like minus lonely at the same time. I mean plus cheerful and minus lonely. So... I, I guess... I guess I'll do this because yeah, I should be, yeah, cheerful outweigh my cheerfulness outweighs my loneliness. I think I don't know, but for now, wait, let me check my skills. Oh, look at that! That's not a look at that boosted intellectual though. Hold up, 
Okay, let's boost our conver, our conversation, and our athletics because uh, I want to run. I actually want to climb because I don't have anything in climb. So let's uh, boost that combo, public speaking, and uh, athletics, and boost that at climbing because I don't have any climbing skills. You practice climbing up and down fixed ladders, driving out any fear of heights, and learning to move swiftly and surely. Memories, you memorize lists and sonnets, then recite them for your teacher and any castle staff she can round up to serve as your audience. Your teacher asks you, asks you questions about made up nonsense, pushing you to improvise, answer smoothly and swift without having to worry about them being correct. Sick. Ah, staring up, you know, strange flash of light, falling star, perfect. Or pretty, perfect. So I need to get, yeah, I, I want to stay cheerful, so. Let's get rid of this loneliness and let's become more willful. So, uh, shit. Looks like this is the only way. But then it's going to give me some depression. So drop me down, but then I'll be more yielding. I don't know if I want to be yielding. Whatever, let's do it. Now I'm like <laughs> yielding as hell right now. Hmm. So I think I am going to work on. I need to find some way to boost my economic stuff. But I think I want to boost up both economic trade and production because I kind of need them both. But then again, ah, there's like some things that I really am bad at. Hmm. Screw it. Screw it. We're doing it anyway. Economics, trade, and production. Let's do it. You learn that even the smallest villages has a central, a central market where locals can trade what they have grown or made with others who have different blah blah blah. You learn how farmers of the Duchy of Marie rotate between fields for raising crops and fields that are life fallow. fallow. I have unpleasant news to report. Talaris, the Duke of Setna, has instituted high tariffs and trade restrictions at the Elif border. Business is disrupted, and there are growing shortages of supplies. Then the Royal Treasury will pay to keep people fed. Very well. Uh, I need to be more willful and more cheerful. And less lonely. Let less lonely. Willful, but they don't like kind of they don't they don't whatever Back to my cheerful self uh, I'm really trying to get these like this composure up um, And all that jazz but right now I have a boost of conversation and athletics Which I think I might want to boost my running skill Maybe not uh shit. Let's boost yeah, let's boost our composure and our presence because we're gonna need that. Definitely gonna need that. Presence and composure. Even though I don't have a you know boost in that, but practice positive thinking, maintaining a good self-image, then conditioning yourself to carry on rather than being frustrated by any misstep. You practice sitting calmly while your teacher circles around you and makes you unexpected loud noises at random intervals. Stare at yourself in the mirror and practice. Focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze, of your gaze, of your gaze on and off at will. I can't do this. I unlocked the new outfit. Sweet, my lady. There are letters for you. Another letter for Brandy. Why does she keep writing me? We we're never, we're not, we were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely, and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwynell's birthday party. That's right, Gwynell's about to turn fifteen. She'll be the Duchess of Sudbury for real now. The other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. When all and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a, also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Divination. I'm going to Sudbury. It'd be good to see my friends. Hell yeah, I'm going. I'm not. Let me boost my willfulness real quick. Hmm. Where's that lonely meter at? Ugh. Shit. My only whatever. 
boost that willfulness. I need to work on my uh, weapons, which is terrible. Hmm. Let's, uh, let us, uh, I think I should work on poison. I feel like I'm going to need to work on that poison real quick. Twice. Seriously. The first treatment for most invest ingested poisons is to purge the stomach by forcing the victim to eat powdered charcoal, which can absorb dangerous substances. Certain poisons will counteract each other such that either on their own will kill the victim, but carefully applying a matching amount of the other will cure. On your turn to sub your character is attacked by bandits. Ooh, look at that. Oh, what? You took down, you look down in shock at the arrow, which has bruised itself in your side. Okay, buried itself in your side. Outside, you can hear streams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around pain. You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You hear a story, heard a story somewhere about pushing arrows through the body, so you brace yourself and give it a shove. Unfortunately, it only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning into a painful wound into a fatal one. I died. I'm dead. Yep. That's, that's, I'm dead. R rip, rip in peace. Although did not survive the, to reach her coronation, Nova would have to go on without her, but it does not have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elodie's star may rise again. Word. So, uh, yeah, this has been Long Live the Queen. I know it's like a really awkward game for me to play. Uh, if you did stick around for this, um, however many parts this was, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of it, and I will gladly bring it back, because I actually kind of like this. Um, but thank you guys for watching. This is Terrence Ox signing out. Peace out.